we're going to go to Nearpod.com, create your free account. Nearpod now has a place where you can go right into your Google Slides and edit your slides, adding draw it features and things like that. Or you can do it the other way where you used to just upload your slides, PowerPoints, whatever it is here, and then add all those features. I'm going to go ahead and use the new feature, which is up, um, using the add-on, the Google add-on. So up here, add-ons, and then you go to the Nearpod and you're going to get the add-on and I'm going to open it. Notice over here on the right side, it's going to give me all the features that they have in Nearpod. We can add audio, we can add a collaborate feature. That feature only works when you're in the classroom and they're all projecting. You can project all their answers at the same time on the board. Virtual field trips, fill in the blank. Memory tests, open-ended questions. Those are good, they're fill in the blank. You can ask them that as well. You can poll and everyone answers our question. I like to get that as a pulse at the end of my slide. How comfortable do they feel? Um, finding, in this case, we're gonna be doing circumference. Finding circumference. So I would add a poll at the end. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to import slide that I've already got. File, import slides. It's gonna be this one right here on circumference. Select it. It will upload. I wanna go all of these slides. Now, in this slide deck, I keep everything in there. I keep the title pages. I keep all their notes. I keep everything in there. And I actually have the students have their notebook next to them and they take notes along the way as they're going through their slides. So here we have it. They would be taking notes here on the slide. Nothing much to add here, but radius and diameter. And then we're going to practice. So once I get down to this practice slide, I click so I want them to be able to draw right on this. So convert to draw it. So now this is a slide where they can actually write their actual answer right here on the slide. And as the teacher, you're gonna get a screen that'll show everybody's answer. So you can see who's working and who's not. The next one I also want to create as a draw, convert to draw it. So now they have another draw it. And if I keep rolling down, scrolling down through my list, next we come up to notes. Now we got to take some more notes. So here's some formulas for them to write down. And then we're going to scroll down and we're going to start finding the circumference. So this is another one. They're going to practice. I'm going to come over here. They're going to to draw on it, actually write their answers right there, and it saves it for me so I can see everybody's work, who's done what. And over here, I want to do a fill in the blank. Right here. The circumference of a circle is Two times pi times the radius. I can add extra words in here. Diameter. I want to make sure they know the difference between radius and diameter. So these are their words. They're going to have options to choose from. So here we have it just real quick and easy. I wanted to know, do they know the difference between radius and diameter? So once you've added your final slide, you go over here to the bottom, right? Save to Nearpod. 
and then you're going to share it through your Google Classroom or whatever learning management system that you have. You will be given a code when you share it. The students just log in with that code. You gather all the data and the students continue to learn. Hope this is helpful. Remember, take that step. Be uniquely wonderful you. Bye.